these slopes are going to make this thwomp go up to the top. We use this in a lot of different setups, by the way. Sorry. All right, well, anyways, with this little glitch, the thwomp is going to go up to the top and merge with this P-switch, like you see here. Now, when I hit this on-off switch, the P-switch is going to warp to the top of the thwomp. So, it's almost like a magical P-switch um, appear trick thing. All right. So, that's pretty cool. Now, there are many different ways we can play around with what's inside of here. So, if I put two items, like a P-switch and a spring, or really any item with a regular spring like that, they will get merged, and when I hit the on-off switch, they will come up, and they will appear to be merged. And so, this could make an interesting kind of uh, platform that you have to jump off of, whatever, hit the P-switch. It's not a, like a real spring jump, but it's uh, a little jump. You can merge a spring, a regular spring, with any other solid object, like a POW or a crate, but two POWs or two crates, two really solid objects that are not springs, one will disappear. And you won't see it unless we put a sideways spring at the bottom now things start to get a little interesting because if I don't do anything else the sideways spring will come up and it will launch the other two items over to the side so say for example if I'm over here on the left it naturally launches it to the to the right if I'm over here on the left and I hit this on off switch both items will bounce over to the right until they finally unmerge and it just so happens that the spring is underneath the P-switch as it bounces around, so the spring will hit the P-switch up again. So this is kind of like an interesting little on-off switch catapult system going on here. Um, I guess it doesn't always spring up. Now, if we have, say, two different PALs, the PALs will merge. And let's say two different solid objects, the, like these two PALs. The PALs will merge, and when they settle down, one will actually get destroyed. So go like that, and I think one gets destroyed once over on the other side, yeah. Um, but that is like a way of creating a purple pow like that. And you can only grab one, obviously, but it's kind of interesting. If we put a block, like a solid block right here, then the items will spring to the left. Like that, because they're forced to. Until they, eventually they separate or one just disappears. This could have many, many different applications, which is pretty interesting to me, like... There's a lot of things that you can do here with this idea, and we were playing around with it on stream for a little while, coming up with different combinations just to see what would happen and what would work. But this is kind of a cool little catapult system. This can be used in many different um, Kaizo levels. Yo, check this out. Springs are gonna pop out both sides. <laughs> there are so many different combinations here with things that you can do with this little setup. I think it opens up the doors to different possibilities. This launcher trick is also possible in the 2D styles, but you do have to lift the sideways spring up a little bit. If it's stuck down here, the thwomp won't actually lift it where it needs to go. So if you put a cloud right underneath the sideways spring, and then you put any other item on top of that, it will still launch an item off to the right. When I hit this on off switch like that. This can also be triggered using P switches. So say if we use like a P blocks instead of red blocks, Instead of an on-off switch, we have a P-switch. Same exact setup, we just hit the P-switch after it's all the way up to its final destination, and the item will get launched over. Anything that we put on top of this block right here will get launched along with it. So say, for example, we want to deliver a POW, a P-switch, and a, a shell like this. We just stack it on top of that location, hit that, and they all get delivered over to the 